What is going on everyone? My name is KKC and welcome to the channel. So in this video we're going to be taking a look at the best attachments that you could be running on the STG44 for Warzone Pacific. So let's kick things off with the muzzle slot and in my opinion there's only two viable options here. It's either going to be the MX Silencer or the Mercury Silencer. Now the MX Silencer is going to give us sound suppression and accuracy and the Mercury Silencer is going to give us sound suppression and recoil control and that is why I prefer the Mercury Silencer because of that recoil control benefit. Now it is going to take away some damage range but we're going to make up for that by the type of barrel we're going to put on. We're going to put on the VDD 760mm 05B barrel and you can see here on the pros it's going to give us some damage range so that makes up for the damage range that we've lost for using the mercury silencer it's also going to give us a highly accurate and controllable gun and it's going to reduce scope sway and gun bob it is going to take away some sprint to fire speed aim walk and movement speed and hip fire accuracy but this build is going to be for those medium to long range gun fights and we're not going to worry about all of those cons too much because we don't really need hip fire accuracy if we're fighting at 30 to 40 meters Moving on to the scope, this is probably the attachment slot that you can have the most freedom with. At this moment in time, I am running the SVT 40PU scope 3 to 6 times optic. This is going to give us a magnification toggle. You can switch between the 3 and the 6 times magnification levels. It's also going to help with some accuracy, but it's going to take away some aim down sight speed again. Like with the barrel, we're going to be running this gun at such large distances that aim down sight speed isn't really going to be noticeable. Some of the other optic attachments you could run depending on preference is the G16 2.5 times optic. You'll see some of the gameplay. I will be running that optic. It all comes down to how you want to use this gun and what you feel comfortable with. Moving on to the stock, you could either run the precision or the weighted stock. I prefer the weighted stock. It's going to help with some accuracy. It's going to give you flinch resistance. And then the main point here is the recoil control. It is, again, going to take away some movement speed and aim down sight speed. But like we've been saying throughout this whole build, this is a long range and medium range build. We're not going to worry about anything that we'll need up front. Moving on to the underbarrel, we're going to go for the M1941 hand stop underbarrel. This is again going to give us recoil control and accuracy. It's going to take away some hip fire accuracy. Moving on to the magazine, you could run the 60 round mags if you wanted the 10 extra bullets, but I like to run the Gorenko 50 round mags. This is going to help with recoil control, movement speed, aim down sight speed and fire rate. It is going to take away some bullet velocity, bullet penetration and damage, but we're going to make up for that lost bullet velocity by putting on the lengthened ammo. You could run subsonic if you wanted to stay off the radar and you could run hollow point to do some extra limb damage, but the lengthened ammo is just way too good not to be running. Moving on to the grip slot, we're going to go for the polymer grip. This is going to give us flinch resistance and accuracy and recoil during sustained fire. So those long distance gun fights that you're going to get in, you can carry on firing the gun without worrying too much about the recoil and then moving on to the perk slots we're going to go for vital in the perk one slot this is going to give us increased torso damage this is way too good not to be running at the moment and all of the other perk for the perk one slots on the stg aren't really that good so vital is an absolute necessity and then finally in the perk two slot of course we are going to be going for fully loaded again this is just in a different league compared to all of the other perks in this attachment slot and there we go guys, that is the best STG44 build you can be running in Warzone Pacific at this moment in time. Just a quick recap, we're going to go for the Mercury Silencer, the VDD 760 Barrel, the SVT 3-6x Optic Scope, the VDD Weighted Stock, the M1941 Handstop Under Barrel, the Gorenko 50 round Mags with lengthened ammunition, the Polymer Rear Grip, the Vital Perk 1, and fully loaded in the Perk 2 slot. Guys, if you enjoyed that video, let me know by dropping a like on it down below. We are on the road to 1,000 subscribers, so big love to anyone who leaves a like or a comment on the video. Speaking of leaving a comment, if you do use this build, let me know what you think down in the comments below. Thank you for staying tuned to the video. As always, feel free to subscribe to the channel for all of the latest Call of Duty news, tips and tricks, how to choose class setups and much more.